Alrighty. Answering the question, how do you make delicious sweet and sour purple cabbage? Um, this is truly a wonderful holiday type preparation. One that you can make two, three days ahead if you want, no problem. Store it in the fridge and reheat it when you're ready. Um, there are some variations on the theme that I'm going to show you today in terms of the specific formula. And I'll speak with you about those variations as we're going along. Uh, this particular recipe that I'm going to share with you today in terms of teaching you how to handle a piece of purple cabbage with the cooking process, which is really what this is about, and to familiarize you with purple cabbage, period. Um, this takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to cut and cook, all right? And we're going to begin by putting a stick of butter into our saute pan. Matter of fact, let me cut that in half. It'll melt just a little bit faster. And we're going to slice up a little bit of an onion. All of the ingredients that we're going to use for the purple cabbage recipe today will be onion, fresh ginger root, purple cabbage, whole butter, red wine vinegar, cinnamon, garlic, a little bit of sugar, and some pepper. It's a very nice dish. We're going to start by sauteing the onion that we slice from stem to stem. Now remember, zoom down here on the slicing of the onion. When you're slicing your onion, you cut it in half stem to stem like this one is. And you hold it that way. Then when you get to this part where it's too hard to do it, you turn it again, see? Okay. Now we're going to take your onion and put it in there. Oh, we're going to use a little bit of thyme also. And this is one of the ingredients I forgot to mention to you. And there's the thyme on there. We're using dried leaf thyme today. And you certainly can use fresh thyme. Now, we're going to cook that onion. You don't need the whole onion that I have. And we're going to cut the purple cabbage. Now, this purple cabbage, again, I bought it in a supermarket. And it's kind of pre-picked. They took the outside bitter purple cabbage leaves off of this and wrapped it in plastic wrap. And this is how I bought it in the supermarket today. Now, unlike the green cabbage, first you cut her in half, the root stem that's right here needs to be cut out of the purple cabbage before you begin slicing the cabbage. You see it there? Okay, there you go. Excuse me. Now, I'm going to slice the cabbage in half again. So now I have a quarter of a cabbage. Now, I can cut it again. It depends on the size of your cabbage. And now we're going to slice the cabbage like this. I'm going to keep an eye on my onions over here. You don't need to cook the onions to death in this particular case. I'm going to cook them just a little bit more. By the time it takes me to cut this cabbage, the onions will be ready. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this other half purple cabbage. Cut it into an eighth. One of the things you should keep in mind when you're cutting your cabbage and you're about to make this dish is that what comes as a lot of cabbage in the beginning becomes a lot less cabbage after it's cooked. Because this has a tendency to shrink and condense a little bit throughout the cooking process. So you might start out with a gallon of cabbage, but only end up with one and a half quarts maybe of cooked cabbage. But that's about all we can fit into our pan, so that's enough. We'll use this one here for something else at another time. Okay, now your onions. I want to show you are about half cooked, starting to even brown a little bit, and that's cooked enough for me. Now, we are going to put a little bit of garlic onto the onions. In this particular case, it's about a quarter of a cup. Don't get cheap with the garlic on this one. This particular dish can take a lot of garlic also and still be very good and never have the impression left that there's too much garlic in it. Give that garlic a little bit of mix. Then we're going to take about 
three quarters of a cup of sugar and about a third of a cup of red wine vinegar. And we're going to get that all melted together in there. And we're going to taste that mixture after it gets dissolved together to make sure it's the right sweet and sour um, proportion before we add the cabbage to the dish. And I'm going to turn that down just a touch and I'm going to show you a little bit about the ginger. Let's get that cabbage out of the way. Now the ginger root is something that has to be peeled and minced. Now you can peel it by hand and mince it in a food processor if you want, but we're going to do it by hand because there's such a small amount that we're using here. So we're going to start by cutting this one in half because of the, the way it's shaped. And every piece of ginger root is shaped a little bit differently. Now I'm going to peel it almost a little bit like a potato, if you will, to get the brown skin off. Okay. This amount of ginger root right here, which is probably going to end up being less than a quarter of a cup of minced ginger root, will probably be sufficient for this dish. Now this to some extent, it's like an option for making the dish. You can make this purple cabbage dish without the cinnamon and without the ginger root if you want, and it will still come out very good. But I kind of like the ginger root and the cinnamon in it. Okay, before we go one step further, we're going to taste our sugar and vinegar mixture here. It's good, but I'm going to put a pinch more vinegar into this. There you go. Now, we're going to take our cabbage and put it, excuse me. How do you say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Well, I'm not going anywhere, okay? Here we go. Now, put your purple cabbage right in here. And we're going to sprinkle that little bit of cinnamon. Not much, just a little bit. It's like you won't even know the cinnamon's in there. That's how much you should put in there. And you don't want this to be a predominant thing. That's enough right there. That's probably a half of a teaspoon maybe for all of this. Now, the ginger root. We're going to quickly mince this up by cutting them into flat, thin pieces. Turning those on their side and cutting them into very thin julienne and then mincing them across. You getting way down in here, Richard? We're getting it. Turning it. They've got all these little threads here like this now, see? Sticks, if you're sticks is probably a better description. All right, there's your ginger. Now let's take the ginger, put it in there. And we're going to give this a little mix. 